okay guys hi guys welcome back in this video i'm going to explain what is dos and what is ddos and also i'm going to explain how many types of ddos attacks and how to prevent them and also i'm going to show you short demo but i will explain the uh, short demo on to attack on some small block spot whichever i maintain normally so here is the what is dos actually dos is denial of service so in actually in this cyber world it is called a war it's like a cyber war so so what is what they will do they bring down the service and they bring down the uh they sometimes they capture some sensitive information sometimes they capture the uh personal information of users and they block mail they revive they do it for revenge and some activism people they can more can motivate the attacks in 2019 their activism people attack on wikipedia also so this type of attacks so they bring down the service mainly concept of this one and capture or something okay how many types of dos attacks there are a lot of there is a many types but the main main one main types are is three types so i uh, sorry three types i will explain those later so what is the basic architecture of do ddo ddos so what is that the hacker will sit in somewhere and he is connected to command and control so normally before 2000 the users will the hackers will attack only single victim from one so high end computer to the victim server or victim computer and the otherwise some group of people will attack but the the ddos is changed from beginning of early 2000s and beginning of 2000 so what they will do they make slaves of many computers in the world like personal computers maybe any uh, infected virus infected servers so sometimes they hack small business uh, uh, servers and they then they install the bots into those computers and they controlled it from command center and then they attack to victims they will attack on victims server so thus basic architecture how is the this dos ddos dos going and how many types of ddos they will do daniel ddos is three types mainly is of three types they are daniel of uh, distributed dos application layer dos attacks and the recently they start x dos xml dos okay so what is ddos the i'll explain it in the previous scenario in the previous diagram so they share they they attack from different location even different geo location different servers so it's very hard to stop the very hard to stop this type of attacks distribute they distribute a load they share the load and the command controllers also controlled from different geo locations they have the the group of people together group of hackers together attack that uh, the victim's computer like uh, they targeted previously they target the paypal they target wikipedia and this lot of business financial institutions and e-commerce website they bring it down so uh, and uh, what is application layer attacks actually the application layer the attack on application layer uh, normally whichever the server running the ser server if is any server running software they fill up the disk space with the logs and they control they reserve the cpu time with the too many uh, unlimited request and uh, and uh, like they send it sometimes jumbo packets to the server to give the authentication or request so they keep busy server for example they actually maximum number of open connection they open com they completely sending the attacks attack uh, request authentication request maybe a service request to the computer and then fill with the, fill the computer disk space with the logs and when they, they, they then they bring down the victim's computer may slow it down otherwise uh, it make uh, otherwise sometimes it goes unusable so or they will use sometimes technique called fork bomb 
to crash the computer crash the server so so that's the type of thing they do that and what is xdos xdos is xml dos but recently this xml dos uh, xml dos is controlled by latest application firewalls so what are those firewalls is do there is a there's a lot of firewalls whichever you can install on linux and your host machine whichever you can install there is lots of firewalls provide the service like uh, palo alto's next generation firewalls and there is a virtual appliances also available at the moment and uh, web application firewalls like citrix netscaler and barracuda f5 networks and fortnet so there is other there is other service providers also that do that cloudflare meraki they do that smooth wall so this the, you can use those uh, appliances to prevent the xdos and what actually what there is a methods there is a, some type of methods we can we can use to prevent this type of attacks so the special appliance i explained that which is a, which is the 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 next generation firewalls from palo alto and uh, some other firewalls on the different companies say fi networks and near citrix netscaler juniper networks checkpoint sonic wall so there are a lot of appliances and firewalls you got what they will do they, they those applicants says when they you receive the request they verify the packet and they check the packet what is, is it dangerous is it any uh, legitimate request or is it just as continuous request is from same source if it's happen like that they, they those appliances will block that ip address but but still sometimes they request from different locations and different many ip addresses the thing is they slave the lost thousands of thousands of uh, computers they made slaved and they attacked from that location so it's very hard but still they invest the they bring down the these appliances will stop the traffic and they will send the what is legitimate traffic will send to the servers and background and you can configure the firewalls and routers to stop those things and security leverage by some isp providers this this is the main one sometimes isp providers will they investigate the traffic if its traffic suddenly goes high if suddenly goes up so they will stop they will stop those they will stop that they reduce the traffic or they will stop the traffic and they will analyze the traffic and they will prevent the traffic to reach the business servers so some of the isps do that but not everyone so and another technique is investigate the uh, traffic and redirect the traffic into black hole routing so what they will do if is if if sometimes they re receive excessive traffic if they receive excessive traffic they if they receive unlimited like huge demand or some uh, some millions of requests billions of requests in there comes so they they redirect all the excessive traffic into the null route uh, sometimes it refer as a black hole routing and anti dos provide uh, service providers what they will do they slowing down the traffic from the dos request and they prevent the those uh, they they, stop, they slowing down the request and they send only minimum traffic to the uh, behind the, wherever the request actually going like a recently wav fire WAF application um, web app web app firewalls those do that type of things so this is the prevention method they normally use to prevent this data so i'm going to do small demo i'm using small tool uh, there is also a lot of tools actually pre uh, you people will use to these are uh, these attacks actually like my doom slow wallets those type of tools they they injected they embedded those tools into malware and they uh, uh, installed on computers and they make those computers as a slaves so that's why uh, so they make it slaves and they attack it from that location so this is the small this is a small tool it is created by the mr thg so this tool will help this is just is written in the c so it's a, it's a small tool it will attack uh, it, i'm just going to demo that how normally ddos will work so this is a github page so you can clone that this page this is i will i will provide this link into description so you can go there and 
do that and this is i'm i am saying again this is only education purpose this is not for any illegal activity this is not for anything so i'm going to attack this block this is the blog post i'm attacking but i hope it won't work my service provider normally prevents all the dos attacks ddos attacks or something if you see the excessive traffic like the excessive request suddenly so you will prevent but i will show you how to do that so you have to to the git clone this the website so when you go in here git clone copy this one and git clone that so i already did that so you will see that is already exists so i already cloned it so go to x e r so one so then if you see that there is a three three files in the directory those are three files must be uh, is it was written in c so you will see that normally when you downloaded it you won't see this executive permissions for these three files i change the executive for you need to change ch mod plus x plus sorry plus x and those three files i'm doing so the start so it will change all the permission to executive permissions so so you will see that so how can i run this one you can see that in web and uh, github he mentioned that it's clearly this is a simple command dot x e r x e s then ip or dns name then port whatever the port you are attacking i'm uh, i'm telling most of the time my service provider will prevent that request so i hope it will stops but i will i just want to show you how you do that this is a dos ddos attack so is x sorry so dot x e r r x e s i am using this the one i am attacking this url this is a blog post blog spot so i hope this is very high there is a lots of firewall behind uh, lots of firewalls there so it will prevent it is maintained by google anyway so i am attacking on 443 so you will see that it will sending keep request 443 after some time it will stop suddenly so my service provider will drop all those packets you will see that after some time he will drop so if you see that look at that he stops already he stops already is not sending any more requests so is dropping those requests into the maybe redirecting that into some null root or some black hole so that's why isps are main in when they, when they preventing that you it is sending but is not going any more forward so that's the way they will prevent that but some type some isp zone do but hackers will do it to different they, they do the different way they attack isp first to stop the um, those thing then they will go into the victim sometimes so they use some vpns to directly hitting the victims also so this type of things they will do so this that's it for this video uh please subscribe if you have any suggestions comments please put them into comments so i will going to make more videos on security and ethical hacking and also i'm going to more videos on networks also please please subscribe for more updates on this one thank you very much